sequência de mete, mete, toma, toma, soca, soca, vai piranha, vai safar, vai te empurrar na piranha. We got another nerd in my chair. It's time to completely transform him. I'm gonna cure his eyesight. Follow along for the tutorial. Please, bro. I'm begging you, bro. Please. Bro is begging. I'm bro literally is, on my hands and knees begging. begging. Lance's about to fuck me. I mean, Lance's about to do me right. fuck you? What? I was about to ask what you want, but... Oh. Do you want me to fuck you? I mean... <laughs> Alright, what do you want? What haircut, bro? Probably the usual, I'd say. Bowl cut. How long has it been since I cut your hair last? Way too long. I missed the uh, real talk, like taper. Inch off the top, what do you think? Yeah, probably. I'm gonna do the top at the end. The hairstyle where it's like kind of pushed back, I generally will always do the top at the end. Push back. You kind of have like a brush back hairstyle. You have some strands coming down in the front, but most of it is just like moving back. And your hair is longer, so like I always say, I will do the top first if you have more of a shorter hairstyle, like a fringe. If it's longer, I will do it last. So that means I'm gonna section off the top first. Do you even comb your hair bro? my shit is tangled as fuck to be honest no i don't comb my hair should i start you should be detangling that shit with that wide tooth comb dude where do i get one of those bro basebodyworks.com wide tooth comb wait i heard wide tooth combs might come with the first what like 50 orders next drop of the shampoo yeah i'm definitely gonna have to be one of those first 50. isn't that good for curly hair too the wide tooth comb yeah it's just a good detangler bro i'm gonna start with a number four that is always how i start my tapers since the top is longer i'm going to keep the taper lower generally the longer your hair is on top the lower you want the fade or the taper and a fade is kind of just like a higher taper so at some point when the top gets long enough you'll probably have to stop getting fades and start getting tapers if you want it to look proportional beef tallow it has so many amazing properties oh but it's no, super no, no. cheap we can't make money on it it's not and vegan it's, and it's not fda approved it's not good don't use it bro sulfates and parabens are vegan bro beef tallow is not yeah that's the problem i actually don't fucking get it bro why would you voluntarily rub there are people on this earth who defend companies that produce like the shittiest fucking formulas in the world they're like i would love to rub chemicals all over my body you don't want to do that no oh i want to do that i want to rub a single ingredient like beef tallow over my fucking face have like relatively clear skin you can do base beef tallow or what yeah i'm working on it. I think I might be able to get a sample this week. I'm gonna start our taper with a number two open. Then I'm closing the lever and going right beneath that area I just cleared out. My method for fading and tapering is the same no matter what the video is. So if I forget to mention a step in one video and I mention the step in another video, just know it's the same for both of them. We're making our bald guideline with my clipper closed. Going for a mid to low taper. Again, not too high. We don't want to be too aggressive with it. The top is longer, so we want to keep it relatively low. We push it too high. I'll have less room to blend. The fade will look worse. The top will be really long. The sides will be really short. It's not balanced. There's more to cutting hair than just fades and tapers. You have to think of it as the whole head. Back. You don't know anything. Shut no, up. No, dude. I, what do you mean, bro? I literally went to barber school, bro. What are you talking about? You went about, to bro? barber school? I literally went to barber school, bro. No way. Let me cut your hair next, bro. I'll show you what I'm Oh, doing. yeah? You want to come on? I'll show you what I know, yeah. Okay. When's the part where you're gonna ball fade me, bro? Remember the ball fade you on me? You do ball fades? Huh? Ball fades? Ball fades. Dude, we do that off camera. And now you're gonna take your trimmer. Just look at that bicep. All right, bro. Stop thirst trapping mid-cut, bro. My bad, bro. I can't stop looking at myself. Taking that trimmer right below our guideline here. If you're an OG subscriber, you know what I'm doing. I'm fading down. Fading down. Fading down with that foil shaver. Fading down. So we're taking that shaver just below the top end of where we brought our trimmer. I'm gonna do the shaver at the end for the back just because I'm gonna get all the neck hair. There's no point to just do it once and then have to go back and do it later. I can just do it all at one time. That's another thing with cutting hair is you wanna be efficient. Don't make unnecessary guidelines that you'll have to switch out your guards and go back to fading later. That's kind of how I just made my method in the first place. You have to change your guards the least amount if you fade using my method. If you fade up, you have to use like a one and then you have to use a two and you have to use a one open and then you're just like going back and forth between guards you fade down, it's so easy. You don't have to go back and forth at all. Yeah, fact. Bruh. Speaking of, we're making our only guideline right now. We are going to use our half guard, start open, move down the head and close it. Move. And another thing about efficiency is keeping the guard on and going around the whole head instead of fading one side at a time. You could finish twice or three times as fast by just keeping the guard on and doing the same steps all the way around the head. Now we have this little line left over down here. We easily take that out with a no guard, starting open, moving down the head and closing it. Now that we're done fading down from our number one guideline, I'm going to continue fading down from our number two guideline with a one and a half open and close the lever as I move down the head. I'm gonna take our number one open to get rid of that last guideline there. Watch as I blend this last line out effortlessly. God, that shit looks so blurry. Top time? You haven't edged me yet. Yeah, we gotta edge first, then we'll do top. Right. What about fading down? We already did all that. So yeah, right now I'm just taking off some weight. It is pretty bulky here. 
Isn't it your birthday today? Yeah. Big 16? Dude, yeah, I just turned 15. <laughs> Let's go, dude. I'm gonna get my license soon. This is my favorite part, especially on him. Look how dark these edges are. We're gonna be able to line that shit up. It's gonna pop. <laughs> Might as well do his eyebrows while I'm here. Might as well. He's all lined up, edged up. Now I'm gonna give him the uh, what? I'm cutting the top of your head. Oh, dude, I thought. <laughs> I don't, Get your head out of the gutter, John, dude. <laughs> oh my God, that's so old. Why did I say that? That's a 2020 trend. Why did I just say that? All I'm gonna do is the usual, split it down the middle, blend it into the sides. It's only like a half inch of overhang. Half inch is a lot though, is the thing. Cleaning scissors? No, these are the regular. Oh, uh, uh, this is, um, this is clipper over comb. No, that's not clipper over comb. What is this? Just scissors. Just scissors, bro. Right. Clipper overcomes like the electric, yeah. It's a clipper overcome. All right, bro. Smart ass over here, dude. We went to barber school, bro. <laughs> my bad. Yeah, you're the licensed barber here. My bad. Yeah. My fault. It's crazy. I'm a licensed barber and I've never worked in a shop. I've literally never used my license. Bro, fuck a shop. Yeah, dude, same. Dude, how did you just straighten out my hair so hard? That's crazy. <laughs> now I'm just taking off the tips, the top. You can see right here that it's kind of rounded like this. I'm just trimming the tips off. Like I said before, I was gonna save the foil shaver for the end because there's a lot of hair on the sides anyway that I would have to knock out. So I'm just gonna finish up with the foil shaver from the edge of the line up here to make it all pop. And at the bottom of the taper, and we're done.